Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your Catalan Studio Instructor and my name is Kumaresh. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Today, we will learn the overview of variables. There are three types of variables supported in Catalan Studio which are Groovy variables, also known as private variables. Test case variables, also known as local variables. And global variables. In this video, we are going to discuss on Groovy or private variables. The Groovy variables can be written in Groovy scripting. We can define the Groovy variables in script or manual view of any of the test case. The scope of the Groovy variable is restricted to the Groovy script only. Which means we cannot use this variables outside of the same Groovy script. Due to this restriction it can be used as private variables. We can define different types of variable such as integer, string, floating etc. We will now show the demonstration to define and use of Groovy variables in a Catalan test case. We will work with the Groovy variables in this existing test case. In this test case the hard-coded test data are used for the input fields application URL, username, password, and the timeout. We will replace these hard-coded values with the newly created Groovy variables. Let's see how we can do this. We will create the variables from the script view section. We will use the Groovy scripting syntax to create the variables. The URL is a string so the corresponding variable has to be created as string type. The string keyword is used to initialize a variable with name SURL. During the initialization, we will also assign the URL value of the test application. Similarly, we will define a string type variable which will store the username of the application. Also we will define one more string type variable which will store the password of the application. Now, we are left with creation of one more variable which will hold the numeric value of timeout. We will create this variable using the keyword int and assign the numeric value. Now, we will replace each of the hard-coded test data with the newly created variables in the test scripts. We can use the keyword float to define any floating variables. For our learning we have created this float variable and we will print it in console. We can use the println function to log any text in execution console. The plus operator is used to append the value of this float variable with the hard-coded string message. Now all the required variables are created from the script view section. The same variables can be created from the manual section as well by adding the action item binary statement, we can define the groovy variables. In the input field, we have to provide the variable name, data type and assign the data value. 
After creation of all the variables, the test case manual section is look like this. That's all about the creation and usage of the Groovy or private variables. Now, we will execute this enhanced test case to check the correctness of the variable implementation. The execution will take few seconds to finish. Script will launch the application by reading the URL from the variable properly. Also the user details are entered correctly during login which shows that the implementation of the variables are correct. After successfully execution of the test case, we can check the console log of the printing of float variable. We can ignore these error messages as those are irrelevant of this topic. In the beginning of the log, we can see that logs for each of the variables and print message is appearing correctly. It is advisable to use this kind of variables to build any internal logic of the test case. Thanks for watching this video. That's all about Groovy variables in Catalan Studio. We will learn about test case or local variables in upcoming videos. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube trends, Twitter trends, scientific calculator and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.